could float on, I'd be fine on my own. No ties to pull me back and forth. But I like the way you move me. I like the way you take me out. I like the way you see me. I'm going to be sharing three different Easter vignettes with you guys. And the first one includes these glitter eggs. Now this is so easy to do. You just need to get either styrofoam or paper mache eggs and cover them in some Elmer's glue or spray adhesive and then roll them in finely milled glitter. It gives the best coverage. I also sprayed them with a gloss spray paint now this next piece is a Hoppy Hollows vintage collectible that I found at Goodwill. I bought two of them and I just decided to give them a nice pastel finish in one solid color. So I'm gonna do a yellow and then a blue. This is the best way that I have found to repurpose things from the dollar store or from Goodwill. It's just a really cool way to make things fit your style. I highly encourage you guys to check out thrift stores before doing a DIY project because I only paid a dollar for all of these planters and little tiny dishes and all you have to do is give them a quick coat of spray paint. My favorite is the Rust-Oleum primer and paint in one. It was amazing. It covered it perfectly. You can find pretty inexpensive succulents at Home Depot and I picked up a couple different ones to just use inside of the planters. Adding some real live vegetation is perfect to not only enhance the mood, but it's really good for air quality and it's a great way to mix in natural elements to your space. Now I picked up this paper mache bunny at Joanne Fabrics for about $2 and I'm going to also give him a quick coat of spray paint. This is the metallic spray paint from Krylon. It is called Mirror Look. It is awesome. It gives it that galvanized metal look which is super, super in right now. So you guys know I'm not one for a lot of color but on Easter I will make an exception. So I purchased the larger metallic eggs from Marshalls or Home Goods, and then actually did the glitter eggs with the same technique that I showed you in the beginning. Those are plastic eggs that I covered and then I added some fake cherry blossom trees to also add some height to the scene and you have to have Easter candy in your vignette. It would be just not right if you didn't. So here I'm just adding some peanut M&Ms to a candy dish. See that bunny? I got him at Goodwill and spray painted him. Now I know that the Easter colors are not going to fit everybody's decor so that's why I like to keep the color scheme muted but if pastels are really not not your thing you guys can always do this in your home's color scheme you don't have to do the pink the blue the green do whatever works for your home and your taste now for this next scene I'm going to show you this is very white green natural woods and some galvanized metal I love how this turned out it's very English garden party and I'm going to show you guys how I incorporated some of those DIY pieces into this tablescape so we have the galvanized bunny that we spray painted as well as some of those eggs and the goodwill bunnies that we put the succulents in along with some different plants and how much do those look like bunny ears those plants are perfect for easter and then i just accented with the pictures that i already had on my table with some stacked clay pots very cute super easy and very transitional into spring Want to give a real quick tip when painting over plastic eggs you need a paint that will adhere to plastic or you need to use a primer for plastic i used a couple different paints and the textured paints worked really well as well as the glue and glitter technique i recommend those the most but if you want to try and actually hand paint them good luck it is a tedious task i recommend sticking them on a toothpick and a piece of foam to keep them upright but that was my english garden party vignette and now i'm going to teach you how to make a cute candy bar so the first thing you're going to need is a jar that will fit any size bunny that your heart desires I just filled mine with some of this paper grass you guys can get these for like a dollar at five below or the dollar store I am partial to white chocolate bunnies I don't know why I just always have gotten them as a kid and then we're going to also put a couple different robin eggs in there you can really play around with whatever candy you like I just really really love these particular kind and then the next thing we're going to do was have some variegated glass jars you guys can get these at TJ Maxx home goods and then again pick your favorite candies I happen to love robin eggs I know not everybody likes them but they're one of my favorites so I am going to just add the grass so that way we don't have to have as much candy and then layer the different 
textures and colors and sizes in the robin eggs to just give some variety. I think it just makes it look a little bit more thought out, a little bit more interesting. And then the little jar, these are Hershey eggs. Um, totally delicious, by the way, never had them before. The trick to the candy bar is just different sizes, different shapes, and of course, you wanna always be working in odd numbers. Even numbers is just funky when you're making a candy bar. Height is also a really great way to kind of make it interesting, but I'm going to put this up on our foyer table upstairs, and that way when people come into our home, they have a nice little Easter treat that they can have, and I just put it on a brass dish you can use a tray you could use a cake stand and I also had filled a hurricane glass with those DIY glitter eggs for our candles but that's it it's super simple to make very inexpensive Easter decorations if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow along on social media where I give you guys some more behind the scenes decor tips on my Instagram and my snapchat I hope you guys are doing well and if you want more DIY videos please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.